Good day, good day, everyone. Mr. Economist here, bringing you some more Omni Slabs. Let's just put a pearl on top of this tree. It's easier. Um, so it's been a while since my last episode. That's a really bad throw. So what happened is I started a project. God damn it! And this <laughs> this project is taking a lot of time. Uh, it's taking a lot, lot longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, I tweeted a picture of it, or well, a picture of the room it's going to go into, on Twitter. Um, if you haven't followed me on Twitter already, you probably should because you know if I can't make an episode, or I need to talk to you guys, um, I tweet. So, you know, go follow me on Twitter and you'll get scheduling updates. And you would have known that there wasn't going to be an Only Slabs episode last uh I think two slots I've missed. I don't know, maybe a week. Maybe it's only been a week. Anyway, so I'm actually collecting some more uh resources for the room we're gonna be going uh and building today. Oh look tree grew. Um I just want to show you a before clip. This is uh this is the library room. Yeah, before and after. So it's not done, but we are getting there. We are most definitely getting there. Um, yeah. So this is the my library. It's uh, it's functional. It's not just decorative. So yeah, you're gonna come in through here. Um, there are gonna be bookshelves here. Maybe you know six to seven bookshelves tall. They'll uh, they'll sit on the uh, oak here. So there's going to be, a, you know, rows of bookshelves, and down the aisle here, this is one of the functions of the room. It's my enchanting area. This does enchant up to level 30. Made sure of that. You know, and I've got some we'll enchant shears. Oh, you, you, sorry, you can only do that with an anvil. Anyway, yeah, you'll just have to take my word for it. This goes up to level 30, and I need to figure out a little bit more of the decorative sides here, but uh. Yeah, this is the enchanting room, one of the functions of the library. And if you come up through here onto one of these sides, there's a side here and a side here, and head up. Just got some detailing in the walls, you know, some bookshelves and whatnot. I think it looks alright. Got some carpet to hide some ugly lighting and a weird transition. So, carpet for the win. Uh, if you come up through here, you see, you're going to see some chests. These chests are for books. Books and tools. Um, there's going to be a anvil and an ender chest up here, I think. Yeah, so books and tools. Um, so maybe on this side, I'm going to store all my tools and armor and weapons, you know. Um, all of that good stuff, and then on this side I'll store books. So I'll have my book, um, my weapon books, my armor books, my tool books. And yeah, that'll all be stored up here. And then... Um, yeah, you'll be able to look out over the library. And there's going to be, you know, the shelves here. So it'll look more library-like. Um, there's not going to be torches everywhere. I'm going to, I'm going to make the lighting uh, clever. I need to do something with the ceiling. And I actually need to excavate probably another two, or th two to four blocks higher into the ceiling. Um, this room is big. <laughs> I think so far I've probably dug out 18,000 blocks. Um, yeah, excavating this room, and with the ceiling, I'm probably going to go over 20,000. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> um, and then, like, the, you've got these little areas here. Now, if you've ever been in a large library, you know, you've got all the books all over the place, right? It's a library, it's going to have a lot of books. But you also have, like, little desks and tables and things where you can sit down and read the books. Um, that's what these this area is going to be. It's going to have books and, oh, not books, it's going to have tables um, and chairs and things. And uh, same thing over on this side. Yeah. And I might set a villager loose in here as well. Or two or three. I don't know. I think it would be cool to have a few librarian villagers running around, don't you? Um, now, I wanted to complete this wall on camera, but guess what? We have no damn books left. I wonder where all my bookshelves went. 
Um, this is, I think, about seven or eight stacks of bookshelves so far. Uh, so we've got to go buy some more. Luckily, I have villagers that sell said bookshelves. And I still have a fair amount of emeralds, even though I've bought stacks and stacks of bookshelves so far. I've used two stacks of emerald blocks. That's 18 emeralds, no, stacks of emerald, buying books. <laughs> That's a lot. Let's, um, let's convert another half stack. Actually, I don't have room. I need to drop off some crap. Let's just clog the ender chest. That way we can access it over in the construction zone there. Yeah, okay, so we've got some more emeralds. Let's uh, get some more bookshelves. Now, a lot of these guys have locked. Um, I don't think these this side is locked, though. So we'll trade with these guys. Ten bookshelves, nice. So... <laughs> I have no idea how much longer it's going to take to... um finish building the damn library, but um, I'm liking it. So far I'm really liking that library. I think it looks good. Um, just <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the ceiling though. I was thinking probably just going to go for a more or less flat 2D, um, well actually, was I going to, hmm, I just had an idea. Instead of having just a flat 2D roof, I could have stairs and like do a kind of beam looking pattern with stairs in the ceiling, upside down stairs, you know. Um, and if I did that with dark oak and spruce, I think the ceiling would look interesting if I put, um, what are they called? If I put some um, lanterns. Not sea lanterns, redstone lamps, those, yeah. If I put some of those in the ceiling too, the ceiling wouldn't be dark and you'd be able to look up and see a detail in it. I think that would look actually quite cool. Okay, so yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing for the ceiling now. Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah. But, um, the, the ceiling was the only, is the only thing that was giving me issues. Because the walls, you know, whenever there's an empty space in the wall, you just fill it with books. It's a library, it's easy. Um, books and lots of logs. Because for some reason I associate libraries, um, I associate libraries with logs and wood and, you know, wood panelling on the walls and red carpet and fireplaces. And I don't know why I associate libraries with those things, but I do. Um, I must have seen it in a movie or something. You know, like in a, a manor house or something in, in the countryside, the um, they've always got a study that's full of oak paneling and um, and a fireplace in the middle and all that. So yeah, I must have seen that and it must have made an impression on me, I guess. I don't need books. I do need those. Though. Okay, cool. So we'll go out through here. I really like that little door. And we'll go and put down some more... Some more, some more, some more bookshelves. I really like this corner. I think it looks really good. This corner here, and um, these these sides. I think they look quite nice. I'm going to stop running so we can see it better. I don't know why. I just really, really like it. Um, yeah. Anyway, that was an awful ender pearl. My goodness. Let's um, go down here. I've used a lot of lamps, actually. Redstone lamps as well in this build. It's not cheap. Actually, I actually had to go craft some more. I've probably used over a stack of redstone lamps. So, you know, there's that. Okay, get some more bookshelves in. That just looks so much better than having just a plain stone wall. Over here, I've got to put in a fence. Like so. Actually up there I need to fix that up as well. Let's go and do that really quick. So yeah, upstairs. I, do, I wasn't sure on how I wanted to end the this area. Um, so what I decided to do in the end is just continue the logs across. Because it looked a bit weird just to have one piece of log there. And then just to fence it off. So that's 
that's what I did. Nice and simple, nice and easy. And it, it, worked. it looks okay, you know? Could have looked a bit better, but it looks okay. Um, so yeah, let's go through and put down some more spruce. You can see how expensive this gets, <laughs> how quickly it gets expensive. It's crazy. I have to keep on going up um, above ground and cutting down a few spruce trees. And I have to try and get back inside my castle by night time, um, because otherwise I get locked out of my castle. <laughs> Because I've got um I've got all those gates right, and all the gates are functional, but I haven't yet um, implemented an override. So of course when it's um, evening, all my gates lock, and I get locked out of my own castle. <laughs> I think it's very funny, um, but yeah, I think after this I'm gonna have to go and implement some uh, overrides so I don't get locked out anymore because it's kind of silly. Um, just more bookshelves. We're not going to have anywhere near enough for them. Oh, I can't get that, can I? Oh, yes, I love the fact that you can jump and uh, mine things now. Um, so yeah, how many, uh, I'm going to need some stairs. How many stairs do I need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I need 18 stairs. Let's put a crafting table down. I've got seven. Make some more. Uh, Fifteen. Just another. I'll make two. Batch of two. There we go. So that's the stairs done. I actually need to excavate this out, and I can't reach it. I need to excavate this out too. Oh damn! Oh, on that side, I'm ready to go, but not on this side. Okay, so yeah, I have to uh, stand here and mine out some more. Uh, some more stone. And this is crazy. Like, the amount of stone I have mined. Um, in my main storeroom, I have five double chests of stone, right? Or storage. For f five double chests of storage for stone, I should say. And I think I was down to like half a chest of stone, or half a double chest, so one chest of stone up in my storage room before I started mining this out. <laughs> and now I've nearly got five double chests full. Um, and I've put some of the stone that I've mined, I've also put some of that into my storeroom at my mine shaft. So not all of it even went into my storage area. So I have mined a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And it's taken me ages and I have only 18 bookshelves left. <laughs> See how quickly those bookshelves went? No time at all, no damn bookshelves and I have to go trade more um, more bookshelves with my villagers. It's ridiculous how much work this damn build is. If I'd known how crazy it was going to be, I... Actually, I would have still built it. I wanted it to have a big library. I wanted it to be big and overdone and cool. I think it's cool, right? I hope you guys think my library's cool. Because <laughs> I've put a lot of work into it. I'd hate it if you guys thought it was crap. That would suck. You know, when you've put a lot of effort into something and it just turns out... So hopefully that's not the case. That's, uh, I still can't reach. Damn. I really miss modded. Um, yeah, being able to fly. Crap. Double crap. Triple crap. I just... Nah. Damn it. On the ceiling. There we go. Yeah, it's just... Such a pain. Okay, well... Yeah, I'm just going to finish putting these stairs on. And then... Uh, I'm going to cut to, I don't know, maybe we'll go build the furniture next. I'm going to have to trade some more with the villagers. Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here, and off camera I'm going to fill in the bookshelves here, and figure out what I'm going to do here, uh, with the inside area of the, I'm going to call this the enchantment altar. And, um, did I miss a row of book, I missed a row of bookshelves. 
Oh, damn. Well, let's put those there. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in a bit, and we'll uh, we'll build some desks and chairs and things. Okay, so we're back here. We're about to uh, build some furniture. That's what the uh, library looks like completed. Well, well, the back wall's completed. So I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I just capped off these bookshelves with some uh, stairs and uh, put this little feature in. Kind of draws the eye and yeah, it looks good. In fact, I think what we should do in order to celebrate the fact that uh, we are done uh, with the... Well, the only thing we've got to do, let, do now is the ceiling in this back wall. So to celebrate the fact that we're more than halfway done, I think we should enchant something. <laughs> Fire Aspect 2, yeah sure. Knock back to, this is like the worst book ever. But it's the first book um, enchanted in our new library. So I think um, I'm going to put that in an item frame somewhere. First book enchanted in new library. It's definitely something we can be, uh, <laughs> we can be Happy with, proud with. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, we've got to we've got to do something about uh, seating arrangements. We need somewhere where people can sit down and study, read the books, and I stuffed up. That's I stuffed up. Must be stairs there. Oh, uh, let me fix that really quick, because I would like to get those bookshelves back. Is uh. Yeah, bookshelves are expensive. I'm down to, I think, less than three stacks of emeralds. Oh, do they need to be there? I guess they do, okay. But yeah, I'm down to less than three stacks of emeralds, which is the smallest amount of emeralds I have had in months on the server. Most of the time, I'm... Just swimming in emeralds. I think the most I ever had was it six stacks of emerald blocks or eight? Probably six. And then I stopped trading because I was just like, what am I going to do? That is sitting in my ender chest. Um, but yeah, okay, so enough about emeralds. Let's put down some tables. I was, I decided to um, build these tables out of oak. Because I think there's a lot of spruce and dark, dark colors in here, and I think a lighter color would go well, uh, just to break up, break it up a bit. So yeah, we'll, whoops, we'll uh, stick with oak for now. Maybe we'll try some jungle wood as well. Uh, jungle wood. Well, the problem with that is you can't get jungle, jungle wood um, pressure plates. So we kind of have to stick to oak if we're going to use the pressure plate tables. Um, and the stair chairs. Yeah. Okay, well that's not going to work. Let's uh, put the chairs this way. Now there's plenty of room. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the lighting in this area. But I've got to figure something out. Because I can't just have... Um, torches on the grid throughout the whole area. That just wouldn't look good. If you guys have any ideas for um, lighting, let me know in the comments. Because I'm kind of stumped at the moment. And I'm probably going to... Um, I'm not going to work on this too much more off-camera because I've already done a lot of off-camera work. Now, okay, we've got the uh, desks. How does that look from a distance? Looks okay, I guess. The ceiling's kind of dark, but we're g I'm going to fix that. There's going to be lights in the ceiling. It'll look fine. Um, I guess? I don't know. I'm not, hmm, not too happy with how those look. Of course, this is just the first draft, so... You can always tear it up and build a better uh, looking area. I want to try and put a desk in. Maybe a desk would look better. 
Should I make it a long desk? Like a communal desk, or should I just try and keep it like an actual desk? Maybe we'll do uh, double desks. So I'll have it like this. Another chair here. A desk like that. So you have this desk here. A desk. You know, like you know how they have that in libraries, and there's usually a partition. I'm not exactly sure how we could accomplish the partition though. So we'll just have to ignore that, I think. <laughs> but uh, I think that double desk idea works okay. I'm going to have to put a torch in it for the time being. Mm -hmm. That takes up four blocks, and we've got another one, two, three, four blocks to play with. Um, yeah, let's put another desk, but we'll face it this way. Yeah, like that. We'll put some slabs down, put a backing just so I can get the proper angle to place it in an upside down stair. Whoops, didn't want to destroy that one. Put that back, destroy that. Put a chair, chair, another light on it. I know, I guess that kind of looks like a desk area. It looks kind of odd from down here. Let's have a look at it from like up here. See, uh, see if it looks any better. Yeah, like you can tell the tables and chairs and desks and things, but I'm not too happy with it. Hmm. Look, I don't know. Um, I think this episode's gone on long enough, though. So, how about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, if you have any ideas all these tables and chairs, all the lighting in this area. Um, yeah, just let, let me know in the comments. Um, more minds working on the same problem should, should yield a good result. Anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone. This is Mr. Economist, signing out.